Hey everybody, this is a dissection video for human anatomy and physiology and what I'm holding here is a sheep brain and right off the bat you notice that there's this white layer here. Well this white layer is actually made out of two layers and the third one is what you'd see here. So this white is actually the dura mater as well as the arachnoid mater. So that's actually two layers and then the third layer is the pia mater, which is this clear, very thin layer that you see here. So on a human, this would be anterior and this would be posterior here, sort of like that. So this would be the frontal lobe down here, the temporal lobe. Up here, all across the top here, would be the parietal lobe. And then finally, the occipital lobe would be posterior. And there we have it. Now, we have the two cerebral hemispheres there. So if we put this back together, this would be the left cerebral hemisphere, and this would be the right cerebral hemisphere. So we can set one down, and we notice that there is, uh, you have your cerebrum then, and this would be the gray matter, the cerebrum, and I'll kind of open up and you can see here is the corpus callosum. This white right here that you see is the corpus callosum. And I've sort of, I, I, I kind of tore it. There's a membrane right here holding in uh, CSF. This is the septum pellucidum. However, if I sort of just make this incision here, now we're looking into the lateral ventricle. So, um, the, the first two ventricles would be the left and right ventricles, so we call them lateral ventricles. And this is the corpus callosum. And the bottom border here, this inferior border here, this is the fornix, right here. So again, you have your right cerebral hemisphere, this is the cerebrum, and you have your corpus callosum. And then that membrane that I tore that was holding in the cerebral spinal fluid, that was um, the septum pellucidum, and now we're looking into the uh, lateral ventricle. And then the bottom border is the, uh, uh, is the fornix. Okay, this structure here, this is not the cerebrum, this is the cerebellum. And if you notice, you have your, your tree of life. This is the arbor vitae, this white matter here, you see that? That's arbor vitae. That's that white matter. All that is inside of this structure called the cerebellum, right there. If we move below the fornix now, this is the choroid plexus. All these uh, little blood vessels here, this is the choroid plexus right here. See that? The choroid plexus. And that means that this here is the thalamus. And the hypothalamus then is all this here. Thalamus and hypothalamus. And your, your two lateral, you have your lateral ventricles here. And then your third ventricle is, I, my, my, um, my probe is now inside of the, 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 the third ventricle. And you can follow the ventricle if you go posteriorly, you can follow follow it down like this. Down the, uh, this is the, um, the cerebral aqueduct. And then finally, there's a little pocket right here that sort of uh, goes into the cerebellum, and that's the fourth ventricle. So again, all the ventricles is you have your two lateral ventricles, one on the right and one on the left, lateral ventricles. Then you have your third, so that's like your one and two. Your third ventricle it goes all the way around the, um, the thalamus, like that. And then the cerebral aqueduct, and finally your fourth ventricle is right there. So let's go down the midbrain and the brainstem and, and, and identify all these little parts. So maybe the easiest part to identify is this big bump here so this is the 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 pons here 
and if you go just above the pons, you will see the, the, the tegmentum. So this here is the tegmentum, and, um, and if you just go just above that, you'll see this little area right here, and this area here is the tectum. Now, if you kind of separate a little bit, you kind of start to work at it, you'll see that this is actually, that the tectum is made out of uh, two parts, and that's your superior and inferior uh, colliculi. It's, this is the superior colliculus, inferior colliculus. And on the other side, you have your superior and inferior colliculus. Altogether, it's called the, it's, it's called the corpora quadrigemina. But the region is called the, the, the tectum. Okay, and, and so right, right below that then, then is your tegmentum. Then you have your pons, and that's right here. Then you have your medulla oblongata. And then finally, at the very bottom here, you have your spinal cord. So let's just start from the inferior here and work our way up and see if we can identify all these parts. So here is the spinal cord, right here. And then just above that, but before we hit the pons, this is your medulla oblongata, right here. So here's the medulla oblongata, spinal cord, medulla oblongata, and then we have our pons. And you can see that ball right here, that's the pons. Then above that, above the pons then, is our tegmentum, and that goes all the way up from the top of the pons here, all the way up like this. Then we have our thalamus. All this area is the thalamus. You see where you have the third ventricle here? So this is the thalamus here. And then just adjacent to that, this area here, is the hypothalamus. Now on the other side of the thalamus, you have this little, this little gland right here. Here's your pineal. This is the pineal gland. And then again, here's your tectum. And these two plus the other two on the other side is called your corpora quadrigemina. The top here is your superior colliculus and inferior colliculus. You have two on the other side, and that's, that makes up your corpora quadrigemina. And so if we want to go through uh, where the CSF uh, travels, again, you have that, that membrane that, that I kind of tore right here. And that's your uh, septum pellucidum. If you tear it, you can see you have a cavity. Inside here, you have your cerebral spinal fluid. And, uh, um, and this cavity is called lateral, the lateral ventricle. So you have two of those, one on this side and one on the other side. So that would be one and two. Then you have your third ventricle. It's called your third ventricle here. And then it, it travels down like this, down the cerebral aqueduct. And then there's a little pocket that kind of goes into the, um, the cerebellum, and that's your fourth ventricle. Also, uh, let's, let's switch here. Let's take a look over here. We have, um, you see these little bumps. We'll just kind of make little incisions here so you can see. We got these little bumps. Well, the mount, these little bumps, these little hills, the 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 mountains these are called gyri or one is called a gyrus so this is one bump here here's another one these are, this is called a gyrus and the indentations the little valleys are called sulci one is called a sulcus so gyrus and sulcus you see that if you kind of turn this around and and look here here's an accessory nerve right here. Here's an accessory nerve. You can kind of see if you start to separate this here, you can start to see there's your tectum there, your corpora quadrigemina. See there's actually two, there's two bumps here. So there's your superior and inferior colliculi there. You see that? So take a look at the left hemisphere here, cerebral hemisphere, and you have your thalamus here, and you can see 
the third ventricle again, thalamus, sort of this little ball right here, and then the hypothalamus, this direction. Well, you have your, your optic chiasma right here and the optic nerve going anterior, where the optic tract would go posterior. So here is your optic chiasma right here, adjacent to your hypothalamus, and then the optic nerve going, going anterior. You see that? And then there's another, another one that we can take a look at. You see, uh, you put uh, the brain all back together. Well, here's your longitudinal fissure. Fissure. Fissure is, uh, is, is like the, your deep sulcus. Sulcus would be like the little, the little valley where fissure would be the, the, the larger ones, the larger indentations. So here's your longitudinal fissure. Let's just take a look one more time. Let's kind of go through uh, some of these terms one more time and see if we can identify all of them a little bit quicker here. All right, so here's your cerebral, your left cerebral hemisphere. This is all the cerebrum on the outside, cerebrum, and that's made up of gray matter. And then, first thing I notice here is you have your corpus callosum. Kind of make a little cut here, see? All this white on the outside, right here, this is your corpus callosum. See that? And the other border on the bottom here, that would that's your fornix. And so this is a fornix, and as you go up, that's your uh, corpus callosum. That's what connects the, the, the left and right hemispheres. Um, when, when, uh, when a child is able to, 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 to draw a, a complete circle, the, the corpus callosum is completely formed, allowing the left and right hemispheres to communicate. And inside, then, you have your cerebral spinal, spinal fluid, and this cavity is called the lateral ventricle. You can also see the choroid plexus here. See that, that this bloody mass here? Choroid plexus. And below, below the fornix, then, we see here's the thalamus. Here's the thalamus. This is the thalamus. And what's and the cavity that's going around here is the third ventricle. And you can follow the third ventricle around uh, down the cerebral aqueduct. A little hard to see. Cerebral aqueduct. And then finally, as you go around, round, round, you have your, this little pocket right here is the fourth ventricle. So that's the fourth ventricle. <clears throat> Here's the cerebellum. All this is the cerebellum here. And the cerebellum has this white matter that looks like a tree, the tree of life. This is your arbor vitae. It's called arbor vitae. And you got your pineal gland right there. Here's your th thalamus. And then right behind, posterior, is your thalamus. And then you have this other ball. Well, this ball here is the tectum. Um, and because it, it's made up of four small little balls, your superior colliculus, inferior colliculus, and then two on the other side. That's all called the corpora quadrigemina. And um, then, then, so if this is the thalamus here, and this is the hypothalamus, this is the tegmentum, the pons, the medulla oblongata, and then finally, the spinal cord. And I take a look here. We have our sulcus. Here are a bunch of little valleys, a bunch of sulci. And here's a gyrus. A gyrus. That's the little hills. Hills and valleys. The, the valley is the sulcus. And the little mountain is the, is the gyrus. Um, and, of course, you have your, uh, your lobes. You have your frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe right here, and the occipital lobe posterior. Very nice. Of course, there is more to the brain. You have all the cranial nerves. They're a little hard to see on here. Here's an accessory nerve, um, but that's pretty good. I mean, it's hard to see on this on this particular brain, but that's pretty good for uh, for this demonstration. 
All right, well, thank you very much and study well.